Hello everyone, and welcome to my first video of 2021. In today's episode, we're going to see how to build a Data Studio dashboard that shows your data or your top three list as a podium as shown here. This will require some processing on your part and a clever bit of formatting thanks to Google Drive. Ready? Let's go. I'm going to start with data from a website where a gallery shows posters and users can come and vote for specific posters. They can also unvote and choose another poster to choose and vote for. So as a result, I can see two tables, one with the number of votes with the poster name and the poster ID. And the poster ID that you see here in the three graphs is based on regular expression extraction from the poster field. So to do that, I'm using a custom field in the Data Studio data source. But here on the right, as you can imagine, I'm using data blend to get a blend of these two charts uh, where the number of votes and unvotes matches. So my poster ID is my common key and I have seven unvotes here, seven votes here, which I find in the left hand side tables here for unvotes. And I want to say here for votes, right? So I get the best of both worlds, both tables both shown as two columns. Very happy with that. But really what I want to do is because I want to show the uh, top posters people voted for is I want to be able to find these three entries but make them look a bit fun. Well, more fun. And I also want to get them out of the table format and use a podium illustration. So that's what we're going to do in the next a few seconds. The first thing I did is I went to Google Drive and I created a new sheet. Um, I also installed the uh, Google Sheet extension plugin, or, you know, whatever, add-on for uh, Google Analytics. And I created a new report, uh, creating a new tab with my GA view. And I always want to get the last 30 days of data, including today. Then I want to show events. I want to uh, um, to show the dimensions action for my event and labels. Uh, I want to order by events in descending order. And then I want to search data for all events where the action equals poster vote. Just the same way I have poster on vote, but we're just going to focus on this one for the sake of the experiment. And for good measure, you know, the default limit is set to 1000. I'm not going to need that need another main rows, but you know. Uh, and from there, I can just run the extract by going back to Google Analytics and run reports. When that's done, I have a new tab. The tab contains all the GA data formatted by the uh, add on. So I get my dimensions, even action, even label, and the number of events for the action equals. Uh, poster vote. So far, so good. So now I'm going to want to uh, order those and make them a bit prettier. So what I did is I created a new tab. That tab contains, like I said, my regular expression extraction here, where I'm going to look for this particular piggy. And that's where I can show a formula for my regular extraction, where I'm going to look for the formula in my sheet, look for the pattern that creates the poster ID. And if there is an error, I'm going to display nothing. So far, so good. Let's go back. Zoom. Wee. All right. So now I have my votes here. And uh, I'm going to need a final tab, which I'm going to call podium. And this old guy is going to just have the top three elements in my table. 
but with a small caveat i'm going to add a column called position and i'm going to also create a percentage column which contains the uh, percentage of these 16 votes uh, versus the sum of all of the uh, votes in terms of events so i'm getting the position the poster id the number of votes i'm just copying cells here nothing fancy and then just a quick calculation to get the total votes so far so good now i'm going to link all this in data studio as a new data source back to data studio i am now going to create a new data source i'm going to connect to my google sheets and look for the sheet I just built. So this little guy, then go to this one. I'm going to use the, actually the one that says podium and then use the first row as headers, etc., etc., and hit connect. You'll see, I get all my fields here, get the, the percentage, the position, the poster, the votes. Uh, I can rename this to something else like percentage. anything you want really. So everything's in there. So far, so good. Now I'm going to use this to create my podium. Now we're going to focus on the presentation layer. We're going to begin with displaying the podium. And to do that, I'm going to go to Google Images and search for podium PNG. So the PNG just helps me find a transparent version of the image I want easily. Go to results. Uh, in some cases, go through some dialogue. Save the resulting image. Save it to your uh, desktop. And then we're ready to go back to the studio. Then we can insert an image. Click on the scene. Uh, go to select file, locate your file, and insert it into your data studio scene, like so. Great. And I have a podium. Now let's make it bigger, much bigger. There, it's majestic. Look at that. Now we're going to need to insert a new chart just to show the numbers that we have in our Google Sheet data source. From there, go to insert or add a chart and just go with the basic scorecard. There, perfect. So now I'm just showing a basic number. Don't pay it any attention. We're just going to focus on presentation right now. So switch the data, data source to match Google Sheets. And notice how my fields are on the right here in the field selection. So I can find my columns from Google Sheets. But now go to style and remove everything that has to remotely have anything to do with style. So get rid of the uh, metric name, align just for good measure, but doesn't matter. Give it a much bigger font size. And we're going to bring it over here. Oh, look, there's some overlap. So let's get rid of the background color, make it transparent, much easier to overlay. Great. Now, what I want is to give it the numbers for position number one. So I'm going to be changing my number to from the basic uh, count of records to the actual votes. And 39 sounds good, but it's the total number of votes I had in my column. I want to change that to only the votes for position number one. So I'm going to create a nifty little filter that only applies to data with position number one position one here we go 
that's better. So now I'm going to copy this and apply it to number two. And as you can guess, I'm going to adjust the filter. Well, I'm making it a big smaller first. And but I'm going to then adjust the filter to only show position equals two. Then let's copy this over. Make this even smaller. Oh, let's make it position three first and then make it smaller. Like much smaller. Okay, let's do better. Here we go. So here in this case, we only have the numbers. We don't have the name of the posters I had in positions one, two, and three. So now what I need to do is I'm going to need to add labels. To do that, let's go with something basic such as a table. Yeah, you'll see why in a moment. There is no dynamic text in Data Studio for now, so a table will have to do. So I want to show my poster names. I want to get rid of everything else, really. So I'm going to go to style and get rid of the page headers. I want to get rid of the row numbers. I want to get rid of the paging, pagination. And then I'm going to get rid of everything that has to do with borders, colors, background colors, everything uh, presentation related. Sometimes there's a few things I find um, don't necessarily inherit from the previous elements. I need to force the settings. We're going to uh, change the uh, color again of the text of the borders, again, transparent. We're going to uh, change the color of the background for good measure color of the lines, yes, transparent. And we're also going to make the text a bit bigger. So, well, you know, actually we're going to add the filter just for position number one. And we're going to make this a much shorter table. All right, so what I want really, I just want the label. So I'm going to uh, be nasty and remove the number in the one way I know I can is to remove the number and show it as a bar. Well, actually I'm going to make the text bigger first and try and match the big ass label I had for position one. Okay, that sounds good. Let's make the feel a bit bigger, bring it over. Now I need to hide that 16, that's annoying me. So I'm going to change it, like I said, from a number to a bar. Because if I try to reduce the column size, as you can see, it gets ugly. Cool, so let's go back to my uh, style section. No pun intended. And, um, and let's focus on a way to make this disappear. So where would you go to show this as a bar? Not a heat map, not a number, as a bar. So you want to go down to the uh, presentation for the metric, click the drop down here and go to bar. So that's going to show as a black bar by default with my theme. So I'm going to change the color of the bar to something transparent, magic. My bar is now gone, so I can play with the uh, the table size if I need to. I could have left it as is if I wanted. So now I'm going to uh, copy and paste this over to positions number two and three and apply, you guessed it, my filters. No, 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 not the podium. Hang on, we're going to move the labels instead. All right. Here we go much better. So now let's go to data, change the filter to two, and let's do the same operation for, ah, let's, let's make it smaller, a bit smaller. Come on, 
show some respect. All right, now let's get the copied uh, field over to the right and apply my position number three filter. All right, that's that looks good. Now let's apply the position three filter to my text field. Loading. And ta-da, here's your podium. So now go crazy and show it in view mode and, you know, impress your friends or something. And with that, I invite you to uh, use this method to build your own podiums and leave constructive comments in the comments section. Subscribe for more videos like these and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye.